Hello everybody! Hope you're having a fantastic day again. And today we're back on the spheres of Phyrexia and we are unboxing one of the most sought after th uh, things they can unbox for this expansion because let's be honest close after the collector's box this one comes as a surprise most for most people because especially in the UK the socks for the bundle and complete edition are extremely low extremely scarce and it's quite tough to get your hands upon now this changes in the United States and in Europe but in the UK at the moment these things are sold out everywhere now I have seen that they are back casually on certain restocking websites such as Amazon they've been back in stock a couple of times but realistically uh, we don't know when they will be back and if they'll be back honestly I believe that they will be back because it's not limited it's a print to to demand kind of thing and uh, so be careful when you're spending money to try and get your hands on some of these things uh, and it it is likely that you know Amazon warehouses and uh, overall Wizards of the Coast warehouses have tons of these. It's just a matter of, especially in UK, the distributors don't know what they're doing as usual. Anyway, um, so Scotty and I today will be unboxing this amazing thing. Phyrexia All Will Be One Bundle Complete Edition. And uh, boy, this thing is shiny. Like it's shinier than a bald man with a waxed head. Honestly, it's wow um compared to the the previous bundle um <coughs> which was the the gift edition for the brothers war this is a bit shinier and a bit flashier and it's also harder to get your hands upon and uh yeah i'm just gonna have a look really quickly unfortunately these bundles just like the brothers war gift edition are in uh, made in the united states uh so thank you very much scotty by the way for that um, so realistically what I'm expecting is some of these cards, if not all of the cards in here, especially the foils, are going to be warped and pringled as much as possible because this is the United States standard. But uh, hopefully the complete booster, uh, which is where you'll find the complete uh, edition of the cards, which are the oil slick version of the cards, um, hopefully those ones won't be bent uh, too much. Uh, because I would love to play, especially the lands and and limited and and um, constructed. So this is what the box looks like on all sides. Whoops, sorry about that. And inside you will find uh, the twenty traditional foil uh, fire excellence, um land cards and also twenty of the foil panorama uh, land cards. You'll also find a Phyrexian language, Phyrexian Arena card. This is the only way that you can get the Phyrexian language foil uh, arena card. That you can not get the Phyrexian uh, language, uh, Phyrexian Arena anywhere else. Um, not even the collectors and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, you get um, also, of course, 12 um, set boosters inside uh, from the set itself. Uh, you get... Um, the box which i think is actually pretty cool i uh, will hopefully it'll be really nice when we open it and we'll see how it goes and then of course you get a booster that contains either two uh, either of the 20 mythic uh oil slick versions of the cards so there are 20 in, in the pool and you can get two of those and uh 10 um oil slick raised foil lands now the lands are well two of each uh, type and uh, those I'm, I'm hoping to get to that they're not too bent uh, <laughs> and yeah the the, the pool of the mythic foil um oil sick raised foils is is limited but still there are only so many cards that we are wanting to open but without further ado we will get to that a bridge when we need to cross it so let's open it up let's open one side up and uh yeah we managed to get these off our uh local store they didn't have many if any at all uh we managed to score one of the very few ones here at the uh, mox in the holes shout out to mox in the hole here in edinburgh they are amazing and the other ones that we'll be opening uh, it's a mix of um i think we scored yeah we scored some at game 
the code AK, uh, sorry. Uh, so one is a game and the other one is on eBay. <laughs> so basically it's gonna be a, a bit of a, a mix between these two and uh, the prices as well are a bit mixed. Anyway, let's see what's here. You have some Forexian language on this side and for sake of uh, opening it properly. Let's open this side as well and see what this side says. Does it say anything different? Nope. Same for Axian language. Um, it is foil, so it is cool that even the Axian language is foil. Yeah, as I said, it's really foil. It reminds me a little bit of the Matrix and the way that this, like, the foiling is very uh, vertical. Um, but yeah, let's see what we get inside. Open this up. Okay, so, uh, whoop, let me work that a little bit. So, we have here the box and some art. Art, so this is the Junji Ito uh, Elish Norn, which is really, really cool. We managed to get one of these foil in our collector's unboxing. Beautiful art. I've actually seen on Facebook somebody has tattooed uh, this exact illustration on their arm, I believe. That's really cool. And then you have the raised uh, slick oil um, foil version um, of El Schnorn, which you hope to get. Um, and that's one thing. Then you have the box and oh my God, the box is really beautiful. Um, this There's no raised here on, on this size. There's raised in the, um, in the name itself. Uh, so it feels beveled and embossed. Um, then you have the foiling and this middle uh, symbol, the Phyrexian symbol is raised a little bit, so it's embossed. And uh, yeah, it's very nice foil, similar to the uh, previous box. So here we are, just wanted to show you that comparison between the normal bundle uh here uh so that's just the normal bundle that you can get for fire action all will be one and then if you want to check out the gift edition the previous gift edition special from brothers war similar foiling kind of not really but they're both foiled it's just that this one feels much more high-end than the other one um and that's it Okay, so best of luck. We have our Le Mans Chant, uh, configuration from Hellraiser here to bring us luck. And here we go unboxing it. Right, so first off, let's look at the counter sheet. And you have some illustrations. I don't believe I know this one. Uh, so, and then you have just some tokens. These are really cool, actually. I think I'm gonna keep this sheet. Usually I just, you know, recycle them, but I think this is really cool. And these tokens are really nice as well. Um, that's nice. And then you get two twisters. And oh my God, you can see they're already bent, pringled. That's wonderful, of course. This is going to be the Phyrexian Arena foil Phyrexian language. And these are gonna be just the lands. I think in here you also have the um, Phyrexianized language lands, um, well, we'll see. And then you get the usual box in a box. And here you go. You have a complete edition booster, seal product, not for sale. Yes, of course. And then you have the normal set boosters, 12 of them. Now, let's see, is this one by any accident? I would love for it not to be printed in the United States, but, um, oh, yeah. Printed in Japan. Yay! So at least these one won't be bent. Uh, that's really good. I'll keep this for last. And uh, let's open these first. And then we'll go for to the set. And then uh, we will go on to the complete edition. As usual, we will have uh, markers. Uh, so you can skip ahead in case you want to. So let's take care of the panoramic full art lens. And I like the previous one. It doesn't have anything fancy that states like, you know, the, the cards in this are from the specific bundle and all that. And yeah, really, really bent. As you can see, that's not nice. Then you just have 20, all the colors, the foil, yep, bent, unfortunately. So it's always a disappointment. And then we get the 
I can open it. Okay, so here we go. We have the Forexian Arena and Forexian language and uh, side by side the normal arena. Um, I, I really like this uh, illustration. It's really beautiful. I mean, if I can get the Pringling out, I can play it in my commander decks, but you know, anyway. Um, so that's that. And then you get the land. Uh, which is a shame because you don't get as many of these lands foil uh, in, um, in in uh, in the normal uh, unboxing. It's not that easy to get this many lands, and the fact that they're all Pringled, I don't understand why they couldn't just print it everything in in Japan. Because for some reason the U.S. ones are just don't have any quality control. But anyway, okay. Now we will move on to the next part which is the set boosters okay so okay i hope you're having a great time in the meantime while we're opening these let's check uh, yep these are also made in the united states how has this set treated you i know it's a lot of controversy for uh, limited players and also it was nice to see a return to the pro tour the pro tour in philadelphia if i'm not mistaken was just done recently and it was quite quite nice so i hope this set is as enjoyable for you guys as it is for us because we enjoy it well some of us enjoy it some of us hate uh playing it in uh in limited for me it's fun to play in limited anyway uh let's go forward with the cars these are commons and as usual because they're printed in the states they look much different <laughs> than the ones Printed in Europe and our first rare. Oh no, yep, yeah, I forgot. Yes, uh, you have the icor cards. Woof. All right, the first rare is Evolve Spinoderm. Not a bad card. Fairly decent for limited, actually. Um, if you get it. And then our foil is Magmatic Sprinter. Decent card, uh, especially for oil decks. And red, red is broken. Uh, for limited in general, and then you have a Phyrexian Might token. So this is our foil. This is our tokens. Let's see what's next Yeah, we won't take too much time in trying to open these because realistically we see most of the cards of the set um, So we're just uh, blazing through if there's anything interesting that we'd like to Point out or something like that. We'll we'll discuss it, but realistically We've seen all the cards uh, so if you're looking for a previous uh, set overview and kind of ideas, yeah, uh, go and look at our other unboxing videos and that's where we gave our opinions. The Infested Flash Cutter and Bone Picker Scars. You get so many of these. Oh, Copperline Gorge, that's a, a decent enough um, card to get. Also, give me a sec. Okay, so you have Copperline Gorge, uh, one of the slow lands or fast lands I don't remember i think these are the fast lands yep and then we get against all odds quite a decent card if you play it intelligently and um and limited uh, it can uh, it can help a lot especially if you have four mirrored in artifacts that's very nice activations i mean okay so let's go on uh, yeah, as I was saying, you get a lot of these Iker cards and the pool is fairly limited, so you tend to have a lot of uh, duplication. And overall, it's not a bad uh, set. Uh, oh, Contagious Warwick, the Mythic Common in this set. Uh, it's not a bad set, but, you know, yeah, I don't know. These uh, these just, I don't I don't like the Iker cards as much. Anyway, let's go into a Natural Restoration. Uh, common watchful blisters on the top end card troll drake uh, it's so weird that uh, my, my hands are not used to opening american cards i'm sorry uh i keep spoiling you because like it's just the texture is different so it's, it slides a lot more anyway so Billy's camp is our um i core uh blue sun's twilight fairly good uh, twi uh out of the twilights is a really good one um i think it goes personally i would say um black and then this and then the white one but some prefer this one over the black one i prefer the black one because it's an instant speed and, and there you go our foil is the gore warden's helm oh wow 
Future Sight, I think. This is Virulent Sliver. Oh, this is uh, one green, one one. And all Sliver's creatures have poisonous one. And that means that whenever it deals damage to a player, that player gets a poison counter. A player with Temple more poison counters dies. Yes, nice. That's part of the list. That's really cool. So what are we hoping to get out of this, right? Uh, even out of the, the complete edition booster. Well, realistically, we're looking at the Traxa, Sheldred, Elshnorn, uh, the Dominus, the White Dominus has actually gone up in price. The Sword is, is fairly good, actually. Value-wise, oh, decent for red. And yeah, that's that's about it. And then you have, you know, you go down the list, there are different preferences, but those are the cards that we're looking at at the moment to try and get. And uh, we've gotten pretty lucky with our openings. I hope you guys have had the same success. Atmosphere Surgeon, okay. Herbrusks, I know too. Acker More Gauntlet. This is an interesting one because it's uh, an artifact that allows Planeswalker to put her liver. I don't think we've actually opened any of these because it's a mythic. So let's look at it. It's an artifact, two generic and one blue. Please, walkers you control have zero, proliferate, and minus 12, take an extra turn after this one. And then whenever you cast an creature spell, choose a counter on target permanent, put an additional counter on that kind of, of that kind on that per permanent. So I think this is gonna be pretty decent on um, in commanders uh, with, with proliferate decks or if, if in, in structured, um, Standard or sorry, constructed. You're gonna be able. Also, if if in, in constructed, you're gonna be able to maybe create a proliferate deck. That that'd be interesting. Maybe pioneer your own standard. But anyway, this is a cool card, and it's our first mythic, by the way. So let's uh, put that there. And then Mercustodian. Oh, these these always come in pairs whenever you find them in the in the slot. Uh, that's our foil, and then Phyrexian Germ is our token. From actually Commander. Yep, the, this is a Commander card. <laughs> yeah, cool. Anyway. Uh, anyway, uh, for me, this is one of my favorite sets. This and for uh, Brothers War have been really, really cool to open because, I don't know, just uh, between the artifacts and, and this kind of stuff, uh, they're just amazing. Um, for me, anyway, it's preference. So let, let us know in the comments which one you like. This is the Overseer, the White Overseer. The, my, this, we have not opened that one. Fortunately, and that's another card that um, we might be interested in opening. So these are our commons. Okay, now and we start with the young commons with Supin Lookout, Gleeful Demonition, Cacophony Scamp, not a bad card, Exuberant Fuseling, and then we have the Blackberry Rat, Sinew Dancer, Conduit of the Worlds is our foil. Oh shit. Uh, Part of my, my French, but I just uh, slip ahead again. Uh, and we've, uh, this is the um, Crucible of Worlds, kind of, <laughs> light. Uh, I think we've seen it before. This is our foil, we have a mite, and then we have Norn's Wellspring as our rare of uh, the pack. So, Norn's Wellspring. Whenever a creature control dies, create one and put an old counter on Norn's Wellspring. It's not a bad card. That's my cat <laughs> saying hello. Okay, Island, the Mirror Custodian, Lady Crescendo, and Kutuna, and there we go. Pass the commons. Now, Transplant Theorist is the first in common. Prosthetic Injector. Uh, Reject Imperfection, of course, because you're a Praxian. Vivisection Evangelist. Sawblade Scamp. Those are first. Oh, nice. Slow Bat is uh, our um, Icor. It's also rare. And then we get uh, Vran, the Executioner and Thane is our rare. So before, Plated Onslaught is our foil. And then we get a Rebel token. Okay, first half down, second half, here we go. All right, let's see what else do we get here. All right, Alice Schnorn, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful illustration. The Fair Basilica. And then we'll skip through the commons. Do, 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 do. Ambulatory edifice is our first uncommon. Veil of Assimilation. Plated Onslaught. Quicksilver Fisher. 
And then we have a Soilus Jailer. Uh, that's interesting. I've seen it before. It's, I, I like the illustration in this one. It's actually pretty cute. Um, well, not cute, but creepy, but <laughs> still cool. And then another Quicksilver Fisher is our foil, uh, again, in the Icor treatment. And then Phyrexian Mite. Uh, well, I think that we're missing also a couple of the, the Planeswalkers that we need to still see. Um, we haven't opened all of them. I think maybe one or two we're missing. So that would be nice to get. Okay, let's go through our comments. And then let's start with Furnace Furnisher, and Serum Snare, and Font of Progress, Transplant Theorist, and then the Bone Picker Scourge is our Icor. Oh, another Icor, the Furnace Furnisher. Of course, and then we get the Archfiend of the Draws as our rare flying and it enters the battlefield with four old counters at the beginning of your upkeep remove a learn counter from it and then if it has no oil counters on it you lose the game uh, we've opened this before <laughs> it's a crazy card uh in limited it can be a very much a double-edged sword i don't know that i would use it that often and then we have the aspirants ascent uh, as our foil that's a nice nice foil and then we have a rebel token that's really cool. All right. Let's see here. What do we get? What do we get? Let's skip comments. Again, very good common. Also another very good common for limited. Necros Credo. All right. This is our first time common. Armored Scribe Gorger. Evolving Adaptive. The Adaptives. Yep, they're pretty strong. Cinder Slash Ravager. Not bad. A brass anointer, Icor. Oh, Drifnod. All right, the Carnage Dominus. This is a nice, nice, tough creature. That's another mythic for us. And then Singe slash Ravager and Foil. And then nothing else. We've only gotten one um, token, uh, sorry, one list card so far. That's pretty interesting. Um, keep it there. So we have two more maybe unboxings of this. We'll definitely one more and then we'll see if we'll open the third one or not, depending on how things go and maybe if you guys like it, uh, we'll open some more. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, I was really looking forward to trying to get a hand on, on these um, cards because uh, yeah, these sets have been so hyped up, right? And on top of that, the, these bundles are extremely hard to get here in the UK. So, yeah, it's it's delayed on top of that from the normal release. So you've been waiting and only seeing pictures or certain places that can open this kind of stuff. So it's nice to be able to, to finally get your hands on it. All right, Canker Bloom, the Black Belly Rat, Rasvine Cultivator, and <laughs> the Monumental Facade. Yes, we've seen this before. Ooh, Kaya! That's nice, and foil. I think that we've actually not seen it before. This is the manga version of Kaya. This is a, a very, very good Planeswalker um, for limited, if you get Kaya, of course. Um, but it is not an easy cast, so I will have to say this. When you're playing black and white, which is not a strong, a super strong color, if you build it right, it is pretty, pretty good combination. Um, but anyway, it's a three generic, two white, and two black, hence why it's tough to cast. It's a legendary planeswalker with six loyalty, hexproof, and you plus two. Each opponent loses three life, you gain three life. You zero it, you draw two cards, then each opponent may scry one. And then you minus three it, exile target, creature enchantment. If it wasn't an aura, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a one one white spear creature with flying addition to its other types. So this is pretty, pretty decent. And it's a, a threat on the board whenever you do cast this. So it's got to be dealt with pretty pretty quickly. Quite beautiful. And we're lucky that we got a foil. But I will say there's a little bit of like misproper cut here. But anyway, I'm not going to complain. This is a beautiful card. And we didn't get it before. So there you go. Very lucky. Okie dokie. Looking up next. What do we have here? Yeah, as I was saying, we're, we were really looking forward to getting our hands on these um, little bundles because it's been insane to try and get your hands on them. Um, and it's, here in the UK, it's extremely hard to to, to manage. All right, Cephal of a Sentry, Ambulatory Edifice. Now, Bone Picker Scourge is our icon. And then, ooh, beautiful Sea Chrome Coast Full Art. 
extended borderless art, whatever you want to call it. This is a beautiful card. And then we get, ooh, Black Sun Twilight. That's another nice uh, Twilight. Fairly decent and limited, not with haphazard. And then you get a foil mirror convert, I-Core version, and oh, it's uh, it's got marks, I think. Yeah, anyway. And then, ooh, okay, this is a secret layer, Vikia Scorching Stalwart. Legendary creature, 2-4, for, for two generic, one white, has training whenever this creature attacks. With another creature with power, with greater power, put a plus one, plus one on this creature. And for four generic and one red, you tap, untap it, discard a card. Vicky Scorching Stalwart deals damage equal to its power to any target. If excess damage was dealt, was dealt to a creature this way, draw a card. Nice. Never seen this card before. That's nice. All right. Last set booster. There we go. All right, Kaya, the normal illustration. And then we'll move on quickly from the comments. Against the odds, our first uncommon, Sheldra's Egypt. Second uncommon, Minor Misstep. For an Punisher, fairly decent card in Limited. Mirror Convert. Uh, and then we have Glissa, Sun Slayer. Hard to deal with. And then Vanish into Eternity is our foil and that's it okay so that was it for our boosters uh, okay so here we are with the booster that we've all been waiting for i'm kind of excited to try and get my hands on this okay so this again was printed in japan so it shouldn't have a lot of wrangling hopefully and hopefully i will open it without damaging the cards inside okay so let's see that's the boost nice okay oh wow oh yeah okay so here are gonna be like the first are gonna be the lands and then the mythics there is some pringling it's not huge though but there is some just want to point that out um definitely i'm gonna put them right in the sleeve right away and yeah you can you can feel the rays um so there are ways you can fill the the the, the emboss of the card itself but it's not significant enough to make a difference when you play them in your deck uh otherwise you know in tournaments you wouldn't be able to play it so i don't know it's so cool um and also the foiling as well it's it's just like the the foiling on top um where it's very very vertical um yeah it's really really nice um hope you can see that Okay, so these are the planes. Oh, wow. That's the island. I mean, it's really hard to make out the, um, the art behind unless there's a clear reflection on it like that. Because, yeah, it's it's so dark. Um, but you do see the symbol right away. Um, I, I love these. These are really beautiful. Okay. And then we have the swamps. It's really cool. Oh, so that's what it was. It was a swamp, the, the art that, that uh, was in the token thingy and the cardboard token part. That's really beautiful. That's a swamp. Forest. That's really, really nice. Again, it's so cool because it is textured. Like, of course, you're not never going to play with it by hand, uh, just mixing it like this, so you won't ever really get to feel the texture in it. But as a collector, this is these are wow, these are gorgeous. And on top of that, yeah, they're really um, they put the same kind of patina, the shiny patina, the um, varnish or whatever you want to call uh, the same kind that they put in the com um, step and complete cards. Uh, just not the illustration, the foiling that you would get in them is just as shiny as that. That's really beautiful. That's uh, forest. Okay, and that's the last, and that's the mountain. Very nice. Again, like the illustrations are not bad. I'm, I'm not trying to diss anybody. It's just that you don't 
really see the illustrations. You feel them more than anything else, and it's, it's cool, but they don't add much to it. <laughs> like, they could have been just black with some fire symbols, it would have been the same thing. But anyway, it's cool. All right, so what I'll do is I'll remove that last, and let's see what we get here. Again, we're hoping for Atraxa, Alice Norn, the sword, the white dominus, and after that, who cares, right? There are only 20 cards in this pool. So let's see the first one. Oh, wow, the Phyrexian Obliterator. That's nice. I mean, that's a classic. We got in a foil. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. So just to show you, uh, granted this isn't a sleeve, but this is a foil Phyrexian Obliterator. On the left is the oil slick version, and on the right is the normal foil version. So you can see the illustration is quite different. You can see that this box is made so that you can see at the back a little bit of the illustration. And yeah, the rest is quite clear, quite shiny, quite nice. And yeah, you do feel in here on this part and on the side, you feel the embossed but here not so much, but you do feel the sides of the boxes. So that's really, really cool. All right, and then our next uh, is... <laughs> the Vindicator, the two side by side, one against the other, that's really cool. And we didn't have an actual Vindicator yet. So that's the first for our set. Um, really beautiful, really beautiful cards. Okay, so that's it. Um, thoughts on, on these um, and on the bundle itself. I think the bundles are cute. Um, realistically, the reason why you're opening them is right here. Um, so the pack itself is just that. The rest, it's not really worth it. Uh, you're not really looking to get anything out of it uh, unless you really want a Phyrexian Arena um, with a Phyrexian language for your commander decks, then maybe it's worth it. But this is the, the reason why most people are, are interested in it. Of course, the box itself is cute um, and it's nice and it's, it's you, you can feel it's high end. They targeted the high end collectors here. Um, but yeah, I, I I believe that if you're really, really, really a big collector and you really love what they've done here, definitely try and get one of these. Um, or just buy the cars themselves because probably in the long run, um, eventually these things will become more expensive. But as it stands, uh, not bad. There is some pringling just as they sit here. I can see that they're pringling themselves. So this is annoying. So it's something to keep in mind. Yes, you can put them right away into a booster. And yes, you can do the treatments and all the stuff. But, you know, they are a bit pringled. And it's a bit annoying when you're paying quite a bit of money to have something that's supposed to be a collector's item pringled. But other than that, if you enjoy it, definitely get it. Uh, that's it from us, uh, from Scotty and I. We thank you very much for your time and for joining us again. We will be opening at least one more, and then we will see how it goes in the next one. And, uh, yeah, we just wanted to show you how things are. And um, if you like our content and want to see more unboxings and more in-depth uh, analysis of the sets and of the cards themselves, as we unbox, uh, hit that like and subscribe to our channel, share the content that you like, and uh, comment and let us know what you don't like, what you do like, so we can improve. Thumbs down if you don't like us, it's okay. And uh, yeah, we wish you a lovely day, a blessed day. Be good, be kind, and see you in the next one. Bye.